Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 165. Today is August the 16th, 2021. On today's show I have whips and I have hauls, so sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, really it's water. Your craft of choice and let's chat. So how was everybody's week? Mine was really good. It was hectic and busy and adventurous. So, shall I tell you? Why not? Um, on Monday, I was sitting out in my chair deciding what I wanted to do for the week. And I have been putting off moving the toy room and the art room. I decided the boys are getting so big that they need extra space to play. And the toy room was pretty small. I mean, this is about, you can kind of see my arm stretch in this room because there is a full-size bed in here now. So they really didn't have a lot of place to play in here. So I went ahead and I moved everything over except for my yarn. My yarn is downstairs in the basement, all packed up. But I will be tr hopefully figuring out a way to get my yarn in here too because I want all of my yarn and cross stitch in the same spot so that I don't have to keep going to five different places to get everything together. So I did that over the course of like three days. I would do an hour or two and then I would do something else. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So in the now in the toy room is still my armoire for my yarn and there's a couple of other things that are still in there that needs that need to come out of that room to make it even bigger so they have even more space to play but it is a pretty big room for them to play and it's actually two feet bigger than this one so it's going to be fun for them in that room um then on tuesday my mom called me she popped her knee out you know not out of joint it just popped and it hurt and she couldn't walk very well so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I did go out to her house for an hour or two. Um, we had, on Wednesday, we had to talk to the attorney. So I was out there for an hour or two talking to the attorney and then doing some little things that I needed to get done. And Thursday, she needed some help. And Friday as well, I needed to go out and finish some laundry for her and do little things like that. But Oh, we handled it well. And Friday night, we, my hubs and I were going to get in the motorhome and go down the road, but we did put it off for a day. So Saturday morning, about, I think, 10 or 11, we jumped in the motorhome. And we went, usually we go the way to Denali. This time we went to the way to Valdez. Because we were going to hit Valdez on Sunday and spend Sunday and Monday in Valdez and then come back Tuesday. We got to Tangle Lakes, which is 21 miles off of the Richardson Highway. And the Richardson Highway is the highway that goes to Valdez. So it's a... I don't know the Alaska number for it, but it's the Richardson Highway. And you turn off at Paxson Lodge, which was really sad. As a kid, Paxson Lodge was a place you could go eat and get gas and hang out. Well, it is dilapidated and falling apart. And it was really sad to see part of my childhood that I spent time at. Because we would go to Paxson or we would go to Anchorage. This was the old way to go to Anchorage. That Going Anchorage on that road is 435 miles and going to Anchorage the new way is 365, I think. But you can also go to Valdez that way. But we just wanted to go the other way. Because then you'd have to go through Anchorage to get to Valdez. So that adds even more. Where if you go this other this way that we went, it's not as long. But anyway, we were 21 miles off the main road. Tiny little road. Very hilly. Very full of little dips and bumps and kind of freaky <laughs> but we made it we found a really nice little it's a campground that's run by Glen Allen 
Um, it's a state-owned campground, so so it's boondocking. So <laughs> we boondocked there. But as we were sitting there, the electric fan for the motor didn't kick on. And it never did. It never kicked on. And we were pulling hills. We were going down hills. We were braking a lot going down the hills. And it was concerning because we are also in a dead zone. No internet, no phone. So, okay, the, the, the motorhome would start. No problem, it would start right up. But are we going to overheat? Is it the next morning going to say, no, you made me mad. I'm not going to start because my mo my fan's not working. You know, we have no idea what this thing is going to do. So we had to say no to Valdez because that was another hundred and some odd miles away. And I, I'm not want to break down because there's a lot of dead space along that road. A lot of dead space where the internet would come on and then go off. You know, you'd have your phone, you would. So we don't have a satellite phone. <laughs> we don't have any way to get communication. And there's not a lot of traffic on that road because all the traffic is moved to the fast way to get to Anchorage because a lot of people drive from Fairbanks to Anchorage, you know, and there's a lot of stops in between. This one had, what, maybe three bathroom stops along the way, maybe. I don't even think it had that. I think it only had two. So, you know, there's not a lot of pull off. There's pull offs, but there's not a lot of them. The road is a car width, two car widths, and then hardly any shoulder. In fact, he ran off the road at one point, freaked me out, freaked him out because there's no shoulder there. You know, it's like, ah! <laughs> Poor husband. <laughs> but we made it okay and staying there was really beautiful the scenery was gorgeous hubs took a lot of pictures i didn't because i just didn't i was bad but it was beautiful we could see a glacier there was mountains you could see mountains and a glacier and it was gorgeous and it was cold though the wind came in and I was sitting by the fire. I had to go get a blanket because it was so cold sitting by this fire. <laughs> and that's not, that's not fun. I want to be warm. Patty does not like to be cold living in Alaska. Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me, I know. So the next morning, or no, 10, 9.30 that night, we turned the generator on and we ran it for 25 minutes to have the we had two electric heaters blasting the inside of that motorhome so it got warm and we both have really good heavy duty sleeping bags so once you were in your sleeping bag with the sleeping bag zipped up and you could sleep so I fell asleep probably about 10 30 11 and the pump water pump went off a couple of times to pump water into the RV so I have no idea why that happened we must have a small leak or something I don't know couldn't see it so I had to get up and turn it off the second time because it woke me up both times it was freezing cold in there <laughs> by that point because it was probably three or four o'clock in the morning when it did it and I'm freezing 6 30 in the morning somebody crossed the way started their really loud really loud truck to leave it's 6 30 in the morning really loud and we're really close to each other I mean it's it's a typical RV park you know they're not far away they're just right on top of each other so yeah I woke up at 6 30 and did not even want to get up because it was so cold I could see my breath so at this point I'm like I'm ready to go home I'm ready I curled back up tried to go back to sleep hubs got up started cooking so at least we had the propane um stove going so it, giving off some heat and he did at eight o'clock go and turn the um the generator on at eight he said you know it's eight o'clock in the morning he turned the generator on we warmed it up and we left there around 8 30 i think 8 30 quarter to nine and he had decided we would drive 
up and down those hills again and if the fan didn't come on then we would go home if they did come on and everything was okay we were gonna head to Valdez well we got to a point where the fan should have come on and it didn't so we drove it all the way back home um, it never overheated we got to Delta which is about two two hours away 60 miles from Fairbanks no no Delta is a hundred I'm sorry I'm getting this all confused it's like 118 miles away I think and maybe even not much I don't know it takes two hours to get there sorry I'm babbling but we got there and we shut the motorhome off shut the door locked it walked and then the fan turned on so we're not sure why it wasn't working up in the higher altitude it could be an altitude thing it could be that it was colder than we thought it was we have no idea but it ran there's there's another weird sounding whine we're not quite sure where that's coming from but uh, we made it home by three o'clock so it was a long drive I'm glad we didn't go to Valdez because it would have been a 10 to 12 hour drive back home and I really don't know if the hubs could have done it you know he he was said he would have been fine doing it but driving that thing takes a lot out of a person and even sitting and riding in the other seat takes a lot out of a person so we both went to bed early last night <laughs> it's just like oh we were warm and got showers and it was wonderful to get, to get home so I've decided no more August camping for me no mm -mm. Patty doesn't like to be cold so after all of that blabbing sorry guys I hope you enjoyed the craziness that was my weekend let's get on with the stitching so my Mira monthly is Touching the Autumn Sky. I'm stitching this on 32 count Bell. No, this is 32 count Stellar by Pictures Us Plus. And I work some more on her apron. So that's where she's at now. Hopefully I'll get more done today since I don't have any chores to do. Because I did my laundry before I left. On the camping trip so I don't even have to do laundry today so that's great then I worked on autumn lane stitcheries dark queen of the sea this is on 32 count Charles craft died by me okay and I'm just not feeling this one so I didn't get a whole bunch done that in Tuesday was at my mom's and moving furniture around again for this room. Okay, and then on Wednesday I went ahead and pulled out Princess Ileana by Mirabilia. I'm stitching this on 32 count Lavender Lugana by, uh, I think this is which or no, Weigart, sorry. This is Weigart. So it took me a while to figure out where I was, but here I am on this section. So I'm happy with how that's coming along. Okay. Oh, and then Thursday night, I decided to pull out Nevermore by Leela Studios. I am stitching this on the column for Felspar, 32 count. And I didn't get a whole lot done on this one as well, but oops, I did finish a motif and started another one. Here we go, it's upside down. So I finished this motif up and started a different one. And this one is so much fun to work on. I don't know why I don't, but I just don't seem to. Okay. And then on Friday and Sunday, I didn't do any stitching on Saturday. I worked on Fright Night by Gecko Rouge. 
artwork is by Lewis Johnson. And I got a page finish, so I'm very happy about that. So Friday I finished the page. So I finished this page off. And then I did a little bit Friday night over here, and then Sunday I did the majority of what you see there. So pretty soon I'll get this page done, and then I can show you the whole thing is how it's looking now. It is at 37% and over 90,000 stitches done. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I am shocked at, at that. So that is all I stitched on this week. Okay, purchases. I blame Gary, again, from Sunshine Stitchers. He showed off his old feathers. This is a Rosewood Manor. They are doing a stitch along on the group right now, but with me doing no new starts, I can't stitch along yet. So here's that. And I thought I'd show the back, because nobody, I don't think anybody shows the back. These are also added into the um, added patterns in this project. So if you're thinking about something different, there's that. I did pick up 30 count. No, this is 32 count white, right? Yeah, this is 32 count antique white by Rachel. I like the new stickers. I don't like that they're stapled, but I like the new stickers. I got this from um, One Two Three Stitch, and I got all but black in the sulky. So I think, and I keep looking, and it's still back ordered. So I may wait, because I'm not starting this until December. So if it's not there by the end of November, I'm just going to either use um, DMC black or maybe the anchor black in the spools. Since anchor black comes in spools, why not? That might be an interesting thing. So that was my purchase. Um, plans the same as always. Mirror Monday, working on Dark Queen of the Sea, working on my Whip Go project. Maybe, maybe I'll figure out something different. And Fright Night, and add in whatever catches my eye. So, looking around, I really don't have anything else to tell you guys because most of it was blather. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I hope that you are all staying safe and healthy. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming in and checking me out. I usually do not blather that much. I usually only talk a little bit at the beginning, but I figured the trials and tribulations of our Princess Leia camper, and that is a 1977 camper, <laughs> and just having a ad fun adventure Hubs and I had never been to Tangle Lakes, so that was another new thing for us. That was great. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back week after week. I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate all of your comments. And Joe, I managed to, meant to type in, but I'll just talk now. I would love to join you and Terry on your uh, Kringles stitch along, except I have to start mine in December. Hope you don't mind. Let me know, because I think... It'll be so much fun to see how we all work on it. Um, anything else? No. So I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next time. Bye.